Hello everybody and welcome back to this vlog. This is a how to deal with stress. It's part two. Um, so today I'm going to give you a little routine about how to reduce some of the tension from our head, um, neck and upper back. Um, but that's a bit later. The first bit, I want to talk a little bit more about um, two physiological processes that cause stress and help us to, to deal with stress. The first one is called uh, cortisol, it's a hormone. And when we have a, a major fear or scare, or we're a bit uptight, our adrenaline gets released and cortisol. And so cortisol, what it does is help to release um, glucose back into the into the system so we've got energy ready to run from our fear. Now obviously years ago when we were hunter gatherers we'd run um, or fight and our body would our heart rate would increase and our eye pupils would dilate and we'd be ready for it and so our cortisol would help that. The other thing that cortisol does is, is it was also a, an anti-inflammatory and so that would help uh, kick in an, an anti-inflammatory cascade so that if you were hurt or injured or your body was damaged in any process then it will be there ready to try and fix what was going on. So if we think about something where stress has been going on for a long time with cortisol, um, what happens then is that we exhaust cortisol so our, we don't have that lovely anti-inflammatory properties that we, we should have from it. Um, so if you can imagine then an inflammatory cascade starts to happen in our bodies and it gives us more pain and it can give us other diseases because inflammation causes a lot of other diseases like um, uh, heart problems, cancers, etc. except osteoporosis is another one. Um, so we've got to be aware of our stress and try and keep it down. Now we have on our side, which is because we're quite good at, at humans as dealing with stress, uh, is a, our little lovely nerve called the vagus nerve, which the Latin for vagus it means wandering. So our vagus nerve starts in our brain and it goes down our neck, there's one either side, behind our collarbones, and it supplies the, it makes us swallow, so it supplies some of the muscles in the um, front of the, the larynx and the pharynx, so the front of the neck here and it then goes to supply the heart, um, the lungs, and then it goes below our diaphragm, we we're talking about our diaphragm a few weeks ago, and it supplies our stomach and our pancreas and our top part of our gut, so it helps with digestion as well. So our vagus nerve, when we're stressed, it then comes in to try and lower our heart rate and lower our blood pressure and relax us, so it's sort of the rest and digest nerve. So what we want to do is try and kick in on this vagus nerve to calm ourselves down when we're stressed. And of course, people come to see us to, with our massage techniques and our osteopathic techniques to try and kick in on this vagus nerve to relax people when they're having their treatment. So today, and also obviously, sorry, going back to our breathing, our breathing, when you're breathing nice and slowly in and out, for about five seconds each way in and out. Um, that also helps to reduce our vagal tone. So our vagus kicks in and reduces our heart rate. Um, and then of course, Kirsty's lovely relaxation that she gave last week also helps to do that. So we've got a lot of different ways over the last few weeks that we can help to reduce this vagus tone. And I'm gonna show you a little bit in a minute of just how to try and relax some of the muscles why you're not coming to see us. 